Oh, no, but hi guys. Today I'm here with <laughs> I'm waiting. Oh, hi guys. Oh, hi. <laughs> okay. Emily. <laughs> Stop! <laughs> Hi guys, today I'm here with my sister Emily. Hi guys. I honestly don't fully know why I'm doing this video. This is probably the most random video that I've ever done on my channel. But today we are gonna be trying fast food. But the twist is that it has to be fast food that we've never tried before. So like we're gonna be going to places that we've been be that we've been to before, but we have to specifically try items off the menu that we've never tried before. And we're also gonna take turns picking the items. And honestly, we don't have a super solid plan. We're just gonna be getting food, eating it, reviewing it, and hopefully. Hopefully it's like somewhat entertaining for you guys. I don't know if I'm ever gonna do a video like this again. Maybe if you guys really like it. Ice medium churro latte no with cream the churro donut. Ice medium churro latte no with cream the churro donut. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's okay, you got this. Hi, can I have an iced medium churro latte with no with cream? Uh, right now the churro is not very unavailable. Oh, okay. Um, let's so see. Pretty much anything that contains the churro is not very unavailable. Oh, okay, no problem. Um, what else should we get? Okay, so I'm gonna do a medium iced um, blueberry latte, and then can you also do some butter pecan in that, like half and half? So we're gonna do butter pecan and blueberry char? Yes. Okay. And then can we also have the breakfast empanada, please? Bear with me one second, like which one of these will be there? There you are. Okay, thank You're you. Oh. Woo! That looks pretty gross. I feel like the empanada is gonna be really good. I'm excited. How many times are we gonna say I'm excited? Yeah, maybe we're just still thing. recording. <laughs> okay, guys, we got our food. We got the breakfast empanada, which we wanted to get the what was it called? The churro. The lot. The, oh wait, the, we did get the churro donut. Duh. Yeah, okay, so we have the breakfast empanada and the churro donut, which I I'm so excited. haven't eaten since 7 a.m. and it's currently like 12 p.m. So I'm really excited. I'm so hungry. And then we also got the um, okay, so we wanted to get the churro latte, but they said they were out of it. So. Last minute, we decided to order, or I guess I decided to order, <laughs> yeah. the French vanilla blueberry coffee, which I saw someone say tastes really like good. a blueberry pie or something, but that was one on TikTok, so like, obviously Dunkin there's Dunkin' is weird, like, there are different Dunkin's that yes. taste better, so. Yes, like, also, that was the nicest Dunkin' employee I've ever met in my life, like, always, they're so mean here, like, this specific location, mm -hmm. they're just, like, randomly rude. Okay, we're switching sides because for some reason this is like my good side so I feel better sitting on this side like for the actual review part and oh, the be... wind roughed me up a little bit. <laughs> okay, so I was gonna say let's taste test the churro donut but she went ahead and tried it. It's so pretty good. It? Did you eat it all? <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> if you guys have ever been to Universal Studios, you will know how good mm. their churros are and compared to that, this just is not very good to me. I think I'm just really hungry because it tastes amazing. Compared to the Universal churros, it just doesn't compare, but it's not bad. I would rate this a 6 out of 10. I think that's pretty fair. Kind of in between. I would eat this if I was hungry. Yeah. But like, if I just wanted a donut, I don't think I would. It's not it. worth the sweet treat. Because if I'm getting a sweet no. treat, it needs to be so good because it's really sugary. Yeah, you know that's so sugary too. Like, I would rather get like a, what, they're one of their strawberry glazed donuts yeah. or something. Or just a regular glaze. Yeah. I mean, it's good, but yeah, solid six out of ten. Yeah. Next, we're gonna try the drink because I need something to wash that down. Dunkin' coffee is so hit or miss. It's either actual garbage sewer water or it's the best thing you've ever had in your life. So, it looks gonna be really, really sweet. I'm I'm scared. Gonna, I feel like it's gonna be really bitter. Oh, dang it, it's kind of bitter. That, oh, that tastes like trash. That tastes like a garbage bag smell. It kind of does. <laughs> <That Wait. was> <laughs> I did. I wanted to love this because I didn't have coffee today. That was terrible. I had a matcha, but we should not I'm like have randomly. Come. We should not have come here. We should have had a latte though. I feel like the churro latte would have been so good. I feel like that too. All right, that is we a. Go, hey, can we exchange this? That is a two. It's like doo doo water. Yeah, this is a one. I have two. Okay, because I'm taking second si sips, I think I have to give at least a, a two, a three. This I'm excited for. Yeah, this is the breakfast empanada. No, it's actually not okay. How are they serving that in the store? Mm -hmm. It has like, there's a specific taste that some food at Dunkin' has. It's like this Dunkin' taste. It tastes like it was sitting in their cabinets or whatever for literally years. If this is a 2 out of 10, then this is a 3 out of 10. So this is a 3 this out of 10. This is a 2 this out of 10, that's two. a 1 out of 10. Really? I think this is worse. Okay. Okay, guys, we're... <laughs> Okay, we're at the second location, which is Taco Bell, and if they disappoint me, I'm going to be low-key infuriated because I really need some good food. I'm getting hangry. Hi, um, can I start off with a Fiesta veggie? What, sorry, what is it? Burrito. 
I'm sorry, Fiesta Veggie Burrito. Those have been discontinued for a few months, so I'm sorry. Okay, that's okay, one second. Why is everything that we're getting discontinued? Okay, um, I'm gonna do an iced Cinnabon Delight coffee, and then I'm also gonna do a Cantina Chicken Burrito, please. Anything else for yourself today? Um, can we also do some Cinnabon Bites? Two or twelve. Um, yes, please. Two or twelve. Oh, sorry, um, twelve, please. Or okay, enough. awesome, thank you. You're welcome. Bye. <laughs> oh my bye. goodness, Aaron. I did not just freak you <laughs> Yes, please. Two or twelve. <laughs> <laughs> Can't order anything. Thank you. Okay. Okay, guys, we have our food, and it literally smells so good. This is the Cinnabon Delight Latte. Hopefully, this makes up for the nasty. Never my nails, guys. <laughs> Same. The nasty uh, Dunkin' one that we had. It's pretty good. I've had better, but it's okay. So bad. We reached just probably. It's so bad. It could be more coffee. This would be a five out of ten, six out of ten. Yeah, let's a solid five out of ten. Like it's very. I would drink it, but. I don't think I'd be like, wow, I need no, a Taco I would Bell. I need a Cinnabon latte, but it's okay. Okay, next, we got the churro bites, and I've never tried churro this bites I'm before. This I'm excited about. Which, like we said, we're getting food that we never tried. It. I've never tried these, but I've heard so many people hype them up. This, this is gonna be actually good. watering so much. Okay. Um, so you are lying to me. That may be the best thing I've ever tasted in my entire life. I don't know if you guys can see. I think I ate it all. <laughs> but there's like a filling in the middle. Oh my goodness. Mm. I could eat every last one of these right now. Oh my mm. goodness. You're actually lying. That is so good. Next, we have the Katina chicken burrito. I hope we're saying that right. I feel like we're embarrassing yeah, we're ourselves. Probably. But mm -hmm. oh, wow, that like tastes healthy. That's so like I would feel healthy eating this. This mm -hmm. is kind of dangerous. That's a nine out of ten. Mm -hmm. The churro bites were a ten out of ten. It's a nine out of ten. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. speaking country. Chaos ensues. Fights break out. This guy slips in chocolate. And okay, our next location is gonna be Five Guys, which is just up the road. And I don't think I've ever been to Five Guys. Yeah, we actually have. One time when we were in the airport. Really? Yeah, we got burgers when? and fries. Oh my goodness. Yay! Wait, is there not a drive-through? Yeah, they don't have a drive-through. <laughs> Hey guys, we got our food and basically um, I'm still really hungry, like my mouth is watering, so I'm super excited to eat this. They asked for a lot of whipped cream and for some reason, I mean Emily hates it more than I do, but we don't really like whipped cream lids that much. So then I was like, no, like I'm good, I don't eat whipped cream. And they still gave me what? the whipped cream lid, like I don't know why. Guys, they're just not aesthetic. But I'm excited to try this. So this is the Five Guys Oreo shake. Mmm. Mm. <laughs> I feel like a milkshake is probably one of the grossest things to share with someone. No. Because you get so much spit and like saliva. You know what I mean? That's a 10 out of 10. That's a 9 out of 10 because I think the Chick-fil-A milkshakes are better. A good old burger. This might be cheating slightly because I think I might have had a cheeseburger from Five Guys. Because she said she remembers having one, but I really wanted a cheeseburger. But yeah, this is just a classic cheeseburger with tomato. It they didn't have a lot of options because so I was thinking maybe I could get some sort of like special burger. No, they had a lot of options. You just got no, the they had they had cheeseburgers, regular bururs, sandwiches. Oh, I was thinking for toppings. Oh no, I was talking about like a special. They had yeah. bacon burgers. I don't know why. I just really cannot stand like a bacon, bacon burgers. Burger just does not. Oh, this is gonna be so good. I hope. Mm. Oh my lip gloss all over the <laughs> girl burger. Mmm. <laughs> Mm. Mm, with the milkshake, I feel like there's actually not a better combo in the world. Mm -mm. We were talking about it a little bit earlier, but like, actually, we don't think we discussed what foods there would be. But what would your like last meal be? You know the that YouTube channel with the there's like the last mm -hmm. they eat their last meals, and I've thought about this for so long. What would my last meal be? But it's kind of concerning because I don't think I have a favorite food. Like I just enjoy so many different foods. Maybe this. This is so good. I might say this. You can pick a lot of items, right? It's classic. It's American. American oh, burger. It's the classic American burger. Mm -hmm. I mean, how can it's so good? How can this go like, wrong? This is genuinely a ten out of ten. It's juicy. Mm -hmm. It's crunchy. Mm -hmm. It's protein. It's really good. Like period. And I would have a little shake on the side. I would do uh, my second choice would be a good pasta. Mm. But I haven't tasted a lot of like amazing pasta. A lot of pasta is really good. I feel like I need to like it would need to be really amazing. You know what? You know what? Texas Roadhouse rolls, those like butter rolls, are I literally go feral around them. Like I'm not okay. I need to stop eating with food in my mouth. Seriously. Huh? I need to stop eating with food in my mouth. It's it's embarrassing. Eating? 
eating, like, sorry, talking with food. <laughs> I think we can finish this burger and I can still be hungry. Seriously. Taco Bell has now gone down to an 8 out of 10. Mm -hmm. It was good. This is better. This is better. It has more juice. It is, it's a good burger when you bite out of it and a little bit of juice strips down your face. That's true, that's valid. The next location is specifically for Emily. We're gonna go to Arby's and get the fries, like the curly fries, mm -hmm. which I will say I'm excited to try them. Yeah. Because I haven't had them in so long. Why does Arby's literally give me the egg? Hi, can I please just have uh, one order of the curly fries? Thank you. Okay, Arby's, they are no. cold, I'm gonna... Oh, they're warm. Yeah. <gasps> Ooh, this is what we have. Ooh. Ow. I just got like a pain in my side. It's for all the fast food. Oh, no, guys. I get those randomly. It's kind of concerning. Mmm. Mmm. Wait. This is a 10 out of 10 fry for me. I should kind of done. I thought it was really good. Now I'm like... The more you eat, the 7 more... 7 out of 10. That's like a weird it's not bad. I kind of want to go to Chick-fil-A because when we were looking at their menu, even though we tried pretty much every single thing, <laughs> I can't speak. We tried almost everything at Chick-fil-A, but we haven't tried their new special mango frosted lemonade. Which the frosted lemonade. And that is what I need. If right you know, now. you know, it's literally so good. A mango. Anyway, yeah, we're gonna go to Chick-fil-A to finish off this video, get ourselves a little mango frozen lemonade, which I think is gonna be so good. I'm really excited. I am very, very excited. <laughs> One mango. One maggot frosted lemonade. <laughs> um, can I just have one mango frosted lemonade, please? Absolutely. I'm very sorry. That just ended. Oh, so, it did. Okay, yeah, that's fine. That. Do you guys have any other, like, seasonal drinks right now? We don't right now. Okay, what is your regular frosted lemonade okay. then? That's so fine. Sorry. No, you're good. Hey, okay, wait, I'm so sad. I really wanted to try it. Okay, so sweet. <gasps> he was really nice, but I'm like, he knew I was recording. Okay, they didn't have the mango frosted lemonade, which I'm really sad about. So we just got a regular frosted lemonade, which is obviously amazing, but like the whole point of this was that we're supposed to be trying new things, and that's not new. But like, you know? Yeah. I'm doing my best for you guys. You're doing a great job. <laughs> okay. We all love you. Okay. <laughs> we all love you! Put in clapping sounds when I'm saying this. We all love you! <laughs> Okay guys, we have our frosted lemonade and you know, I wanted the mango. I wanted the refreshing. That's really sad. I mean, this is really good. Like, don't get me wrong. He was really nice, actually. Look at those Sounds girls. like someone has a crush. <laughs> I'm saying for you, actually. Oh, it's just so perfect. Like, this is actually disgusting now that I think about it. Hair. Okay, this, by the way, 10 out of 10. Oh my word, brain freeze. Exist. Why does brain freeze even exist? Like, I feel like I probably looked it up or something one time, but why it's does it exist? To our system or something. <laughs> Do we get brain freeze? <laughs> well, brain freeze is a common downside of relishing this frosty treat. <laughs> the phenomenon happens when the temperature of the roof of the mouth and back of the throat drops drastically from the shot of cool. Yep. This sets off the chain reaction. Blood vessels in the roof of the mouth rapidly narrow, which triggers brain arteries to dilate. Although this exact mechanism is not clear, it's likely the sudden artery wall expansion activate. I don't understand a word of this. Okay, yeah, we're gonna go ahead and end the video here. I hope you guys enjoyed. I know it was like really random and I honestly kind of blacked out. Like, I don't even know what we did, but I hope you guys enjoyed. I love you guys so much and I'll see you in the next video.